All right, welcome back to part two of Lost Grimmeries. And uh, when we finished up last time, we got to this uh, gate right here. Where, um, I think it was Rose, was it Rose? I think it was Rose. She kind of went through and left us alone. So, um, yeah, we need to try and find some bits and pieces here. We've got a badge and a sword to kick us off right there. So it is huge. I bet this lovely princess is princess of the puddle is hungry. It's something in the water, but we can't reach it from here. Can we reach it with the sword? No. Okay, so we've got a couple of bits to pick up there. We've also got something on the lock here, which is the stable key. We can now make our way into the stable, which is a hop. So uh, let's have a look to see what we have got. A uh, wooden shoe. Well, isn't that a clog? I would call that a clog. But, uh, hey ho. So we've got them. We've got another potato. That's the potatoes. Shovel. A uh, whip. We've got a pitchfork. Somewhere? Over there. Spyglass. A lizard spur. What is a spur? What is a spur? Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, that was a spur. Not to worry. Uh, fishnet. Fishnet, fishnet, fishnet. Not seeing any nets anywhere at the minute. There's the rooster and the clock. And the hat hung up there. Yep, there's the hat. Fishnet. Where is the fishnet? Well, something like that would be pretty obvious. So there's the fishing rod. Is that the fish net? No, it's a basket. But yeah, there's a fishing rod. So net. The net. Where is the net? I don't know. Where is the net? I can't see you. Quite like this uh, this piece of music. It's probably uh, I think it's probably the best one I've heard while playing one of these games. But um, yeah, I'm not seeing the net. If it was me, I would probably have hung it up somewhere, but I don't see it anywhere on these parts right here. Where, where is it? Where is it? Unless there's an item that I can move. But I'm not getting any notifications over any of the, uh, when I hover over items or areas. Just ropes. That's a saddle. Um. The solution is simpler than it looks, for sure.
Where is this net? What? That was a fish net? Honestly, that looked more like a feather duster to me. But, hey ho. Not gonna argue. All right, so let's um, head back and we can probably use the cord sword to cut off this fabric and take the piece of fabric. Will that complete the spell? Um, no, because we need the toad slime and we also need some wax. Okay, so that's fine. So maybe we can do something with the badge now. Yep, we'll put the badge on here. Opens the door, gives us that and that. We now have a jar. I guess we can use for some toad slime. So now we've got to uh, connect the cogwheels. I'll prompt the next size up. Nope. Go small, large, medium, looking at the gaps. large or small. So that opens half of the gate, it seems. So can we now... Can't. The toad is hungry. What can we give it to eat? Some wax. Okay, catch the bugs in the jar. Give the toad the bugs. Did I not? Did I not catch them? Oh, I have to do them individually. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but it's a bit of a pointless thing to uh, do all three. You know, it's one of uh, Deathwish's pet hates that I've noticed uh, while he's been playing some of these is that. Um, you know, you have to just like repeat the same thing three three times sometimes to be able to um, get bits and pieces uh, that you need. Rather than just letting the uh, player do it in one go. Anywho. Uh, what do we need? Three of those. We need at least four of those. So that's that bit done. to bring some of these down. So we need some more greens. There we go. There's the greens. We've got the sticky ribbon. Whatever the sticky ribbon might be doing for us. Sticky ribbon. So did I find the rose here? I did. Excellent. So, what am I missing? Nothing left here. Doesn't look like there is anything left for us to do there. We need to find some springs, though. This is the way we can use this to climb over somewhere?
Oh. Well, okay. Okay. We can also do that. So we rotate the cogwheel to set all the crank sections blue and we're currently here. Forward. Which way should I go? Let's check the mirror shard. So, this old piece of mirror reveals the places that Rose visited. I should use it in the forest. Okay, we should use it in the forest. Geez, I wonder where the rose was. <laughs> okay, let's see if the shard can have a fine path through the woods. Finding animals and roads rows in the shard. You have to just hold it own place for a time. Okay. I kind of think I prefer the soccer band puzzle. You know, that was pretty neat. It's the first time I've seen like anything like that in one of these games. Got to be a water animal somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's a bit annoying that you have to like literally place the mirror on the um, on the screen each time. I thought that the game would just do that for you automatically, given that it's what you have to do in order to get through. But just one of those extra steps, I guess. Where is this last animal? There it is. It's a bunny. So this is Rose's home, let's see if we can find the girl here. Right. Uh, so we'll have to become a special nice a knife, sorry, otherwise they lose their special taste. So okay. Another hidden object puzzle. So the rocking horse. A mouse, I think that is. It's a bit like a toy mouse. There we go. Is that a pine cone? But a this is a bow. I thought it was going to be that bow there, but it is not. It's something slightly different. We have that. Uh, we have the fumigator thing. I don't know really what it is, but that's what I'm going to call it. With a clothes peg. We've got some cherries. Now I've got to go to the one that I've been avoiding. It's a scarf and a moon and sort of plant. Is it this one? It is. And then we've got the bow which we found earlier on. We've got the sprayer pump. That was the eagle eye achievement. Okay, so can we... Okay, we're going to need to get some poison first to spray and pump, of course. Let's go into Rose's house and. Um, home. I should have guessed. Wait, there's something in the mirror. There's something in the mirror. Use the color beads to refresh the colors of the glass paintings according to the sketches. So, ink by number. It's a kind of thing that's interesting. Never done anything like this before. It's me, I scared a little often looking for someone to take care of me in the roof of the world, and I found her. Up 
pinks, or purples even, and then some more pinks over here. She became my sister. She taught me magic, but also that other people would never accept my great talent. All right, so it sounds like the um, the evil person in the mirror is um, luring Rose in to do her bidding, feeding her pack of lies, for lack of a a better explanation. Obviously, he, she went and uh, lured the prince. She asked for one thing. I release her from her prison. How could I refuse? But then I fell in love. Poor girl. It seems that she really fell in love with Ron. What's this? The shard is showing me the present time. Okay, so she's gone behind the thorns. That's what I just said, game. So, um, let's look in some of these bits and pieces. So we've got... Make a mushroom broth. So we need to scrape something, grate something, and then add some of those mushrooms, it seems, at the end. I can't use any of the utensils, though. Which is fine. Over here, we have got some weed toxing. That's how we can probably get through the uh, brambles, I would have thought. We have a snail handle. Whatever a snail handle is. Place two items here to open that up. We need a ring to open that, okay. Lots of uh, bits and pieces we need for Rose's room, it seems. Quite the mysterious uh, I uh, place. Okay, so there's the other snail handle. So we'll use the ladder. There, we've got the uh, polypore and we've got a walnut as well. And so no other way there to get to that. But we can get into these drawers now. Knife. And the ring for this door. There's our turnip. Good ingredient illustrations with the appropriate symbol. Okay. Vegetable, triangle vegetable, round vegetable, maybe. Squid would be a that, this would be that, the shell would be round, I guess. And then we have flowers. Triangle, that and that. That's probably the star-shaped one. So that would be... That's definitely the circle. Um... What am I missing here? turn it would be though I mean oh hold on this is these two uh, but that's mint not really a flower per se anise mint pepper and beetroot pepper here though 
Oh, yeah, okay. Um, then... There we go. There's a, a big derp on my part. Bring up the mushrooms. Okay, so let's go and take a look over back here at the recipe. So we need to scrape the beetroot, or the turnips, sorry. Place them in there. We then need to rate this. We have the mushrooms, then we stir. No, then we stir, please. Then I guess we take the jug and get some of the actual mixture. But the mushroom's broth. And we just need some walnut shells, so we need a way to um, crack open the walnuts, I guess. How might we do that, I wonder? The nutcracker? There we go. Okay, so let's see what we can find here this time. I'm not sure eradicated all of the uh, yellow zone our first move, which is pretty good, as we did the greens. I will say though, like as simple as these mini games are, they are they're like enjoyable mini games. As opposed to some of these, mentioning no game names in oh I've got another one there, I didn't realise. Uh, mentioning no game names in particular, of course. Um, which are just pure frustration fests. How many moves have we got left? Um, thirteen moves to get one red and five of this other colour. Okay, well we got three there. No, there's our reds completed. We just need one to drop in. Or we can move that down like that. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, they're not frustrating in the slightest. And um, it's really clear cut as to what you actually need to do. You're not like spending a lot of time getting frustrated with the game, trying to work out how the mini games work. So I say, as, as simple as these games are, um, it is nice that although there are mini games. They're not to the extent where they're just completely and utterly frustrating. They're always fair. Alright, onwards we go again then. So we're looking a little bit more. power turned into a pile of rocks. I feel someone's presence. Rose, is that you? Stay where you are, or I'll put a spell on you. Calm down. I don't want to fight. I believe that we can help each other. Please, take back the shard. I understand that it is important to you. Yes, it is. Although, now I regret that I ever found it. Drosera pretended to be my family, but it 
it was only a trick. She tried to use me to break out of her prison along with the Glass Fortress and Crystal Army. And now because of me, she has Fern. I failed him. Don't worry, we'll find him. Tell me, how can we travel to the other dimension? Simple. We must turn this lake into a mirror. First, take this recipe. With this mixture, you'll be able to see sound waves. While I summon a reflection of the glass fortress, you must calm the water's surface with the sound of three ancient bells. There's only that two there. will open a portal to Drosera's dimension. The land where time has stopped. Alright, so we need to make the Echo Tonic, which is an interesting piece. Uh, sense of hearing, a point of sounds, which are visible just like colours. Already spotted the rose, there we go. Need a padlock. We've got a stick. We've got a hook. I need to find something then to finish the hook. Look up on the moorland. Got a shaft. Can I use that with that? I can indeed. And take the ingredient. And we need a spade then. Or shovel. Part of the totem is missing. Sure, what that is, but we just gotta literally come here. It looks seems like once we have it, okay. So we got the hook, something on there. Make okay, we can grappling hook. Pick up the, uh, I guess this is the final, third and final totem. Moss, and we've got the totem itself. Recreate the spirits of the forest totem to discover its secret. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. I see. I see, I see, I see. All those classic um, puzzles where you kind of got like, the three rings and you need to kind of make the correct pattern. Also, the uh, movement's not too great. that up so all of this actually needs to be reconstructed top of the bear here instead I move this one to here here and up there obviously the trick with these things is that you can never put a bigger piece on top of a smaller piece Positioning like hitboxes on this as well are a bit um, a bit finicky. Now let's think of where we need to put this. We can put that there first. I think there is some um, what else do we need for the spell here we got the that and we got the blue bell and we need some virtue so we need something here then to uh, catch that in let's just still need the shovel for there we head back for a moment we can place the bell on here Calm down and 
focus. Okay, so. While I say the glass fortress, you must calm the water's surface. The sound of the There's no key, we'll just use the axe because it's rusty. There's our shovel and our bell and our vessel to collect some of this juice. Gonna prompt us into a hidden object puzzle. This is letter, does it mean a letter of the alphabet or an actual letter to um, like an actual written letter? This is a written letter. Book, Hedgehog, Watch, Banjo, Sock, 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 uh, Brush. There's one brush. Again, what sort of brush do you mean? Do you mean a yard brush? Do you mean a scrubbing brush? You have to be. Uh, you have to sometimes think about what it's actually asking you to find. There's a paintbrush there, you see. But it wasn't two of the same. We need a sword. We need a chair. And finally, is this the bear? It is. Fantastic. We got the bear. So we got that, we got that. We can now make the uh, next of the spells. I don't want to do that. We could have done something like much bigger there. Um, hey ho. It's done, it's done. Can't be undone. finished off. What are we actually looking for here? We need some blues, green, we need some of all the colours. So, we've got quite a bit to do here. This should finish off that colour. We do these greens here, we then should be able to finish off the blues. Finish the greens. Now we just need some reds. Which is... Uh, a bit yikes because we don't have a lot of reds on the board. We've only got three more moves. I don't think we're going to do this one. Unless by some clutch move set they fall into place right at the, the last minute, which they do. Alright. So now we can go back to the bells. Actually, did I just let me go back here a minute? Did I find the rose here? I did. Excellent. Don't want to miss them. Okay, set all the bells to the highest red vibration by hitting them with the mallet. Sound waves affecting neighboring bells. Okay. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> the portal is opening. Jeez. Only the divine forefathers know what lurks on the other side of the mirror. I can't go with you. Without my magical powers, the portal will close forever. Take my shard. When you find Fern, it will take you safely back to the real world. Be careful. This must be Bloat Town, a small settlement of fishermen and potters. It's covered in poisonous crystal dust. Welcome. Finally we meet. You've made it this far. I'm impressed. 
Poisonous crystal dust. Is this ghost matter from Outer Worlds? We don't have to be enemies. I have my vengeance. The king is dead. I don't believe a word you say. Where is Fern? We can make an exchange. You help me to break out of this dimension, and I'll give you back the prince. Make your way to my glass fortress. We can talk more there. I wonder if you'll find the right path. <laughs> yeah, you really sound like you've got good intentions, don't you? Let's be honest. Alright, so some knots. So we have an oxygen bubble. I guess this will let us breathe underwater or something similar to that. Okay, we have one of these. Now normally these are like, you have two pieces, oh we need to find tiles, but you have two pieces that will rotate together and you just have to complete the puzzle. Um, I have done some of those before. Lever. Gunpowder. Maybe if we get the, um, if we make the spell, then I guess maybe we can jump down there and take a look to see what's over down there. Anyway, let's go into the main town. And first things first. So we need a key for that. Some way to take out the items here so we can open this door. It'd be like a claw hammer or pliers or something. Everyone must leave the town by dusk. The crystal arm is coming. No one will be left alive. Okay. Spooky stuff. But where the water is coming from. There is a piece there, look. Same place. I can see a way to the glass fortress from here. But something is blocking the bridge. Oh no, whatever could it be? Bring those those things don't go together. What's they do? Okay, so we're gonna have to get some gunpowder and fire that into there, obviously. So we're gonna have caterpillar. Okay, but yeah, I guess so. We have to make the things together here. But it'll be basically caterpillar turns into butterfly, seed turns into tree kind of thing, I guess. Um, yeah, loads of little, loads of little puzzles in this one. That is soap. Is there anything else for us here? I opened the gateway. What is this creature? All right then. It looks like I have to free this creature from its chains. That's a big turtle. Be careful. Even though he is not hostile, after years of slavery, he might attack you if you try to pass too close near him. Okay. So be the guy. What are we doing here? Don't know that we can do anything at this point. So I've got enough stuff to make this. Um, need some caviar. We need an eraser. Or something else. Okay, so we can't do anything here, I don't think. Unless we can now. I assume we need to like rotate the pipes to connect all the pipes so that we make a complete circuit, but it doesn't look like we've got what we need at the moment to do that. We have a valve of some description though. Ain't it? All right, 
right then. It looks like I have to free this creature from its chains. I think we already knew that. Pretty sure. A valve. Now I wonder if we can turn off the water somewhere here with the valve. Turn off the water. Now we should be able to pick up the piece from here in the crowbar. The crowbar will let us open this door here. And we have another hop. Two necklaces to find. There's one. And the other one is there. Earrings. Figure we're gonna have to construct by the looks of it. So there's the figure. Got the hut. Got two hands. Should be pretty easy to find, right? There's one. There's two. There is a bracelet somewhere. Should be probably in the same style as the necklace and the earrings that we previously found. But I'm not seeing it at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to carry on because I see a couple of the others. We've got night and day. And we've got an oil lamp. There is a kitten. There is a that's not, that's not snake. That's the snake. And fish. Just a bracelet. Where is the bracelet? There. There's the bracelet. Okay, so we've got the oil lamp. Obviously we need to put something in there. Oh no, the oil lamp contains our third piece for this puzzle. So, the... Uh, where was that puzzle? Puzzle was... Not here. Not there. Oh, was it? It must have been on the harbour then. Ah, here it is. Okay. So, yeah, the idea here is that we need to just... Um, Rotate the pieces the correct place. And it looks like actually this this one looks. I won't do that. Be careful you position your cursor. This one looks relatively simple, and like a lot of the pieces are just already there. Some of these that I've done in the past, the there are um, the pieces are really jumbled up quite a lot, and it does take a bit of time to get them all in the right locations. However, this one not looking too bad at the moment. We just need to finish up here. There we go. Yeah, that one's, that one's relatively easy compared to the ones I've done before. Okay, so we've got a pair of pliers and we've also got a seashell. So I wonder if we can use the seashell get the gunpowder yes we can okay let's go back to the cannon oh I didn't pick the seashell up sometimes it automatically picks things up for you and other times it doesn't and obviously that's one of the more frustrating times where you assume it has and it hasn't sure how I meant to do that at the minute. Hmm. 
this in the caviar as well. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, we... Okay, we can undo the knots with the pincers. Burnt the steel to make a fire. Let's go over here though and uh, undo this box. So yeah, we're gonna have go to there. That's gonna turn into a butterfly. Swap them around. Swap them around. Easy. Uh, anti fog fuel. Toddler roll and crystal dust. Okay. So now we can go to the lockbox. Now we can make our potion here. Get rid of all those in one go. And we'll get rid of all of those. Place, though. The reds aren't uh, particularly in great positions, are they? Get rid of these, and then we should be able to finish up. There we go. Alright, we've got the oxygen bubble. So, I believe we'll drop in these... Um, these ingredients as well for the next spell. Get them out of the way. And so now we got that, I think what we can probably do is now go into there. Okay, so we are looking for, first and foremost, a spinning wheel. Now I assume when it says spinning wheel, it means the sort that you would create like clothes on, right? It's a spinning wheel, right? I'm not thinking like a spinning top, like a kid's toy. It's not obvious at the minute, but what is obvious is these floats. There is one and two. The third one is where? Sure, where the third one is. I'll eliminate some of this stuff. What's a wobbler? There's the float. Is it wobbler or warbler? Life boy. Where's the life boy? There it is. Waiters. Hat. Hat, 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 hat. Everything's in plain sight though in this one because um, all of the all of the the items here are there's Trent hidden sneaky. All of the items are in the same color, 
when you have one in yellow or a different colour, then that means that you have to do something to either make it or to uncover it. There's a, a spinning wheel. That's not really a spinning wheel, I don't think. But uh, I'm not really sure what that thing was. But okay, we got a trident. So we're all done here now. And the only thing we've got left to do here is this. Now I'm assuming we need to free this dude before we can... That would make sense. We free this dude before we fire because we don't, obviously don't want to... Uh, we don't want to be killing him or it. So we must have to then do something in here now. Solution is simpler than it looks for sure. It's not like I will do like a fuse. Quite worried by the fact that we need to make like 24 of these, these oft-coloured ones. Because in previous ones they've not come in particularly quickly. Also, bit of a yikes. We need eight more though, so not all is doom and loom gloom just yet. Just need to take them whenever they come up, I think. Four more, there we go. Got them. The anti fog fuel, which I'm assuming will go in the lamp. And then we're going to light the lamp. So now we can do this. Okay. As I thought, it is a connect everything up puzzle. And that should defog everything. Fog finally lifted. Find a way to break it from afar. Well, we know how we're going to do that. We're going to go to the cannon. And we're going to go and blast it. But how do we... Ah, there we go. So now I can do that. So, gunpowder... Then the cannonball. Then we use that. Close it up. 
And oh, we actually got that. Actually got that aim at these things. Okay. Gotta do it all over again. Be free. So the primeval creature is free at last. Another victim of Drosera's greed of power. Alrighty then. So I think that is everything here. I just want to check to make sure we found the rose. We did. And that's probably going to be a good place to leave it for today, guys. So, uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it. And uh, we'll be back uh, real soon with part number three, which may actually be the finale. Looking at how many roses there are left. I don't think there's uh, too much more to go with this game. So, uh, yeah, part three will come up real soon. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been not. You've been awesome. See ya.